Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Thursday, April the 1st, 2010. Well, a change of trend today. The market uh, has made a higher high and a higher low. So in the first time frame, the trend has changed from the downside to the upside and that could be fairly significant for this market. And just looking at uh, the previous second time frame trend, we have a series of higher peaks and higher troughs. And once again, this market has had has made a higher trough. So that uh, tells us something about the underlying strength of this trend in the uh, second time frame as well. The current candle is a candle with a fairly large green body. And that large green body tells us that the buyers have made some solid net bullish progress on the day between the open and the close. And that could be significant for this market and for the potential continuation of the trend in the first time frame and in the second time frame. Previously, we had two very small red body candles. The previous day was uh, slightly larger than the, uh, than the one prior to that. Uh, which was a uh, doji type candle and uh, the previous day's candle was also a spinning top type candle so there wasn't a lot of strength for the bears as the market attempted to uh, continue that first time frame downtrend that the market had in into the previous day today though all of that uh, strength of the bears has evaporated and the bulls are, sh are showing some fairly strong commitment to making this heart market to taking this market higher and also they're showing that they've taken control of this market, albeit not terribly strong control, but still they are in control. Now, interestingly, though, the buyers did lose some commitment as the market attempt to, attempted to trade up above the 11.79 area of uh, resistance. And we could see that there was very strong downside price rejection roughly about a week or so ago as the market attempted to trade up through there. Once again, we've had that downside price rejection, so that's a very, very important level for this market. This market will need to have a substantially bullish close up above that region for the market to trade up to the next area of potential resistance, which is around 1,200. So a very big area for this market. Now, the market is trading up above the cloud or the Kuma, and it is still trading a long way up above the cloud. And uh, when markets tend to trade a long way up above the cloud, they uh, tend to become overstretched or overbought, and there is a strong potential for that market to retrace back towards that cloud. Now, we don't have any, have any solid signs of that happening yet, and what we need to do is read the short-term dynamics, but there is potential for that to happen, and most likely it will happen uh, sooner or later. Interestingly, the Kijun Sen has turned flat, and when the Kijun Sen turns flat, it tends to be a strong attractor of price action. That hasn't happened on this occasion. There was some minor uh, first time frame um, change of trends to the downside that lasted for only one day, while this Kijun Sen has been uh, flat. And I think that really says something about the strength of the trend in the second time frame, that any of these changes of trend to the downside are really very short-lived and it says something about the lack of commitment from the bears and the strength of the bulls in this market at the moment. So obviously, if we do have any uh, decent pullbacks that last for more than a few days, then there may be uh, something substantial to that, but we don't have any indication of that happening yet. Now, the market is trading up above the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen, which means that the market is bullish in the medium-term and short-term time frame. And with the market trading up above the cloud, then it's for bullish in the, in the longer term time frame as well. So all looking fairly positive for this market. Uh, a lot of support down below at the uh, at Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen, but also at a lot of these swing highs and uh, previous swing lows. Uh, they'll offer very strong levels of uh, support for this market. To the upside, though, obviously 1179 is important for the market to... Uh, trade up towards 1200 and with the market trading up above the cloud then we uh, have to consider that it's most likely that the market will uh, take out the 1179 region and trade to the upside. Mm -hmm.